Hello, 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 everyone. I'm a couple minutes early, it's 9.55. Um, but I've been sitting here for a little while, actually. I've had a nice, smooth transition into the morning. Um, <laughs> I actually, I, I got woken up kind of early by my cat today, but I got to sort of sleep in afterwards. Um, and I've just been kind of chilling watching, I was actually watching Little Simsy stream for a little while. Um, it was nice to watch someone else stream for a little while. <laughs> but I think I'm ready to stream myself now. Melody is going to be a young adult today. So technically, Gen 4 begins today. Um, and we can be actually begin Gen 5 today. Because I think also Jasper will have his kid probably sometime during this stream. Um, so the family is growing. We might even have a wedding this stream. Oh my god. This is going to be a good one, I think. I didn't even think about all the things that this entails. Um, but now I'm excited. I didn't even think about the fact that I'm going to have to have a, a wedding, and this time maybe have it gold. <laughs> like having goals, not not gold quality, but like um, actually have it be an event. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We have to play through a couple of days before she ages up. So, um... We're gonna have to, you know, make it there in the first place <laughs> before I make any decisions about how it'll go when we get there. You know? No items were removed. Don't tell me that. Okay. Vikram was playing video games, and he should continue doing so. You were playing video games, and you should, uh, I guess, continue because it's 3 a.m. and there's no one outside. Um, it's kind of ominous back there. This, like, dirt path leading out to just, like, a phone booth and a... A bus stop? Interesting. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I ever noticed that we had that. Melody, why are you awake? I have a feeling that you should not be at 3 a.m. So you should go to sleep. Bianca, you should find out why Fabo is upset. And uh, I think we'll be all good. She wants to become disliked by Martina. <laughs> Girl, you already are. Oh, can we not ask what's wrong anymore? There we go. Come find out what's wrong with the dog. You go to bed. Awesome. Awesome. And Bianca's on her way to come find out what's wrong with Fabo. Fabo, but little buddy. Why are you upset? Oh, he's got to pee? Go pee then! Go piss, girl! Did I not ask you to go potty? Ask to go potty, please. Vikram's busy with his games. Games! Email. I miss homestarrunner.com. <laughs> no one's dried the laundry, apparently. We hate to see it. There's only three people in this house, but I still, um, have so much laundry all the time. Fire! Oh my god, Bianca. Bianca! <laughs> We're not even five minutes into the first, the first five minutes of stream here. Bianca, put yourself out. Please. 
No one's even here. You can't die. <laughs> That got rid of it, right? Okay, good. Take a shower. I guess the laundry started. That's that's good. <laughs> Clean the floor when you're done. Vikram, you can go back to playing video games. Don't even worry about it. Your wife got it all handled. <laughs> Melody, you can go back to sleep for a hot minute. It's good that everybody wakes up for a fire, um, but it also does kind of mess everything up a little bit, huh? Everybody was happy doing what they were doing, and then suddenly no one was doing what they were doing anymore. <laughs> <coughs> she wants to browse Semipedia. I guess you can do that while you eat your eggs and toast. What is that on the web, I guess? There you go. I love that song, Thea. Yeah, welcome on in. How you doing this afternoon? <laughs> now, that song has showed up a couple of times on my, uh, my For You page, and I think it's really cute. Chatting with Vikram while you're browsing Simipedia? Too much. Why are you feeling flirty? What's going on with you? Vikram, you're technically at work right now. On Spotify now. Ooh. Already got two mil on Spotify. Wow. Well, that's because I saw a video about it, and I think that they're very right to have said so. Um... That they didn't do the stupid thing that a lot of TikTok people are doing these days when it comes to releasing a song, where they tease the song for like months and months and months on end, which is that one little snippet, and then finally release the song. They rode the wave of popularity and released it at the height of everybody wanting to listen to it. So like, of course it already has a million views because they were smart about it. <laughs> and because it's a great song. The combination of the two, you know? Cause I hate that shit. When people will tease a song for like literally seven months, and I think that a song has already come out, and then then it comes out, it's like, well, of course it's not gonna get a bunch of listens to right away, cause everyone thought it was already out. <laughs> you know, making pride pins. That's cute. I could never make pins or anything like that. She's very focusedly contemplating her life. Um, you know how it is with Bianca. It's 5 a.m. There might be some people out. Can I be, go be mean to anybody? Now you're waiting for the base coat to dry. Oh, nice. You should get some sleep if you're tired. You always say that. And yet you never are like, I should, I should get some sleep. <laughs> Okay, I guess nobody's out. It is only 5 a.m. Not everybody is an early bird. Oh, just kidding. There's one person. Who's this? Ramen Christian. Well, let's go ruin his day. Um, I made this house a couple weeks ago. This was... This was... Um... Yeah, when when Bianca became a or when Melody became a teen, pretty much, I was like, "New house, we need what we need a new house." <laughs> um, well, obviously we have the the entrance to the place here. We have our llama uh, thing down here. We don't have a llama yet, um, but we will eventually. We have this cute little side garden that's a little cuter in springtime with our froggy chair and piggy chair for picnics near the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> and of course the giant snail. I love the giant snail. Um you walk into this nice little entrance right here with Bianca's woodworking table, a couple duffel bags of cash, one that we were gifted from Daddy Winter and one that we stole rightfully. Um we've got our combination living kitchen dining room here with the very glass dining room. 
this was the whole inspiration for building this whole house, by the way, it was a glass dining room. <laughs> um, <laughs> have our little office in our little yellow bathroom with our <sighs> laundry that's always catching us on fire. And then we have Jasper, who just moved out's bedroom. He was into working out. He was a cat boy. Meg, welcome on in. How you doing this morning? We have our current, well, about to be current heir. Um, oh, just kidding. Yeah, two days until she's the heir. Melody's room. She likes um, music and gardening. I don't know where she put her guitar, but... Of course, it's in her inventory. I'm also doing pretty all right. I've had a nice kind of chill, relaxed morning. I got to sort of sleep in, and then um, I've just been watching TikToks and watching uh, Little Simsy stream all morning. So it's been very nice, very relaxed. Um, we have our previous heir, Bianca's room, that she I don't think has ever set foot in, actually. Um, this is more Vikram's room than her room. <laughs> And even Vikram only really uses it to sleep. And then we have our second bathroom, of course. With my favorite painting in the whole game, the Jazz Cats. <laughs> I love the Jazz Cats. They're fantastic. Okay. I have a Dirt Frog, a Spotted Dirt Frog, a Spotted Heart Frog, I have stripe spotted and um, regular for dirt. I have spotted and regular for heart and striped. So I need um, the spotted heart frog with the striped leap frog. Darn. I want to get all the frogs. That's that's one of my current uh, goals with this generation. <laughs> that's the collection that I want to complete this generation. Fabo's barking at rabbits. Cow plants doing just fine. Bianca is walking through the landscaping to get to what's-his-face to go be mean to him. She's got quite the journey, if I remember correctly. I don't even remember where he is. He's all the way over here. <laughs> She's heading off, you know? Yeah, she's got a, wa she's got a ways to go. <laughs> And you're just still playing video games. We love to see it. Mostly because I would love to see you level up so that we can uh, be sure that we're going to get that promotion sometime soon. I would also love to be promoted from pro gamer to... What's the next one? APM King. <laughs> Melody, you can be awake now. That's fine. But um, talking to your dad, that's a big old no-no. We're instead going to come garden. We have a lot to garden in here. This looks really cute in the, like, in the sunrise. Uh-oh. The bees are active again, and I haven't, um, I have not been paying attention to them. <laughs> Well, I'm probably going to get stung, but that's fine. You're not even close to that guy yet. Oh, you're going to pee yourself before you even reach him. Oh, just kidding. You're almost there. You can make it. It's fine. Oh, 
don't think any of them have weeds right now. Yeah, they all look good. They are all fine. Bianca should be talking to him by now. There we go. Alright. Let's be mean to him real quickly. Threaten him. Jeer him. Insult him. Imply his mother's a llama. Mock his outfit. All the good things, you know? All the usual uh, Bianca interactions. <laughs> Where are you guys going? Where are you two walking off to? <laughs> <laughs> Threaten him. Yell at him. We're only been 25% mean. It begins. He's a pro gamer. What do you mean it begins? He likes video gaming. Alright, hold on a minute. He's got to do something else real quick. You can. Come cook. Some eggs and toast. Always good to have eggs and toast in the fridge. Melody. You can. Are you even going to school at any point? In you have school in two days. You age up in two days. No, I don't think you're going to school again. <coughs> Can you level up in gardening, though? Hmm. Thank you for the fart, Roy. Welcome on in. How you doing this afternoon? <laughs> Can be found on the bookshelf that you uh, purchased them for. So, you're going to read Gardening Volume 2. Bianca, you're not done being mean to this man yet. Yeah, I guarantee you. <laughs> Mock his outfit. Yell at him. Oh, they gotta head back to the right spot. <laughs> I'm doing alright, Roy. I've had a pretty pretty nice morning so far. I'm enjoying the time off. I'm glad to hear you're doing well as well. She had the eyeball ring on? She does. Somehow I've never noticed that. Okay, you can go home now, Bianca. A Discman? Ooh! An MP3 player and two slimes. Shopping spree, Roy. <laughs> I used to act. I used to walk around with a, a like CD player Walkman, and then I also used to walk around with my MP3 player. Back in the day. <laughs> but my uh, MP3 player... I think all three of them that I had ever gotten were somebody else's first, and they got a new one because the old one was breaking, so I took their old one. Uh, and then it broke while in my possession. So I never had a working MP3 player for very long. Next week will be the last week of your internship, and you'll be getting your allowance. Heck yeah! I did have an iPod as well. Um, my mom got me one for Christmas at one point. Um, and I had it in my pocket on my way home from school one time. And it was raining, but I wasn't like listening to music. So I, I you know, was just booking it home in the rain. And then when I was like three fourths of the way home, I noticed that my iPod was not in my pocket anymore, so it had, like, fallen out while I was running, and I was like, you know what, I'm not going back while it's raining to go find this thing. I'm walking to school tomorrow. I'll find it, 
you know, on the way there. The next day, I got a ride to and from school. So I was like, if it's fine, I'll just go the next day. Next day, I got a ride to and from school, by chance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I think like three or four days passed and then finally I went to go find it and it was like smashed billions of pieces side of the road just like gone forever <laughs> so it was my own fault because I, I should have in the moment gone back and got it but it was one of those where I was just like oh my god <laughs> if it isn't the consequences of my own actions <laughs> Yeah. I haven't had an iPod since then. It's only it's only been the phone since that time. <laughs> it's a little bit of a heartbreaking story. But again, it's the it's fully the consequences of my own actions. That was nothing but me being silly as a teenager. <laughs> as often was the case. For self. Oh my god. So he's burnt out from video games, huh? Interesting. Well, come cook then, I guess. Again, you love cooking. You love being the food maker of the house. Macking cheese in the microwave. My favorite meal. A USB that also functions as MP3. I didn't actually have one of those, no. I had um, one of those iPod shuffles, though, one of the ones without a screen that was, like, that big. And I used to, this was the look for me. I had it clipped to my skinny jeans, and then I had the headphones attached to it, and I would, like, lace the headphones up through my shirt so they came out like this, and they would dangle out my the collar of my shirt all day, every day. That was any outfit... I had the headphones coming up. It did not matter what else I was wearing. That was the look for me. It is also the reason I broke so many pairs of headphones because turns out um, moving around as a teenage boy and you know slamming headphones into your chest and what, the wall or whatever <laughs> breaks headphones. So <laughs> microwave Kraft mac and cheese. Yeah, no, Kraft mac and cheese isn't the best. It's the homemade mac and cheese that's always the good shit, you know? <laughs> no, I miss my shuffle every once in a while. I bet you I could probably still find it. I don't think I ever threw it out. Um, but I have I have zero clue where the hell it is. <laughs> You're gonna go do your homework? No, you haven't even leveled up in the gardening skill yet. You're so close. Read the garden thing. Yeah, now we have all that. I just use my phone. <laughs> I've used my phone since I've had uh, an Android, which was, God, like 2014. I think I got that in my... It must have been my junior year. Maybe maybe my sophomore year of high school. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not even that really that old. It's just the technology has progressed so fast in the last 10 years that it feels, it like legitimately feels like it's been so much longer of a time because there's been so many different types of technology for us. <laughs> like comparably, like anyone who's over 40, the first 20 years of their life, they probably had like one or two different technological advances. We've had like 20, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a lot. We've had a lot go on in our lifetimes. <laughs> Not that they haven't as well, because they're alive during this time period as well. But they had a little bit of a time period in their life where technology wasn't, like, <sighs> flying on by. <laughs> Clean lightly. You're about, your wife is about to go destroy that bathroom real quick. Um, so I would not, Vikram. Instead, I think you should eat. Laserdisc or DVD, yeah. The launching of Laserdisc, yeah. Can you stop contemplating your own life and go to the bathroom, please? And someone should feed the cow plant soon.
Go piss, girl. <laughs> of course I don't mind if you lurk. We love the lurkers here. You know that, Roy. I appreciate the support in any form. Thank you, Bianca. Would you now like to feed the cow plant so that it does not kill anybody accidentally? That would be <laughs> ideal. <laughs> and then you can, like, I don't know, come make some furniture. Make a bar stool. Alright, Vikram, you can go to the bathroom. That's fine. And then you'll wash your hands, and you can probably come play video games for a little bit. No, it's still for stuff, huh? Actually, can you live stream? Yeah. So far, we've done quite well with the cow plant. No one's gotten eaten. Um, which I feel like is big. Okay, yeah, you can you can go get leftovers instead of reading the book. But I am gonna put the book in your inventory because no one else is gonna be reading this gardening book. Also. Neighborhood stories? No. There's never any good neighborhood stories. <laughs> oh, I didn't remember that we made samosas. Oh, or curry. Hey, Cozy, how you doing this afternoon? Welcome on in. It's the weekend. We love to see it. I'm accidentally being cruel to my sims by making them eat uh, spicy food. I didn't even know that I had curry in the fridge. Alright, Melody. Don't chat with Bianca, actually. I'm doing pretty well, too. I've had a nice, relaxing morning on the way into... Um, into streaming today. <laughs> I didn't get to like study uh, the languages like I wanted to this morning, but I've, I've kind of just chilled and relaxed instead, which has been very nice. Um, Charles even let me sleep in a little bit. He did wake me up at 7, um, which was a little earlier than I intended to wake up, but that's, you know, these days 7 is still sleeping in for me. <laughs> Gotta increase that spice tolerance. Melody will get there. I don't know about Bianca or Vikram, but Melody will probably get there. Apparently we have curry and samosas in the fridge, so everybody's going to get a little bit of, t of a taste. Because I'm not choosing the food when they get, when they get leftovers. Mm -mm. Alright, you can come harvest plants for a minute here. You can stop live streaming, and you can come hang out with Blake, who I believe... Oh my god. He just gained 1,200 followers from one stream. <laughs> hey, Jet, how you doing this morning? Welcome on in. I hope you're feeling better today. Meg yesterday mentioned that your mouth was in a little bit of pain. Um, so I hope you're feeling better. The Spice Festival Cozy... Um, it's funny, it was actually later that day. Um, <laughs> the day where they went out to go get the spicy foods and they ate it. Um, they went out at like 6 a.m. and then at like noon or like 2, two o'clock, they were like, hey, guess what? It's the Spicy Fest. <laughs> so I had them go to that and they actually, they did get to eat ramen and everything. Um, I don't think he learned the recipe for it, but I think Melody did. It was it was hilarious. <laughs> Can't wait to see the dentist on Monday. Yeah, that's definitely a probably rarely said sentence. <laughs> but
But mouth pain is no joke. It's one of those things that's really hard to ignore. Yummy times. I don't know if he's going to collect all 26 uh, recipes. We only have a little bit of time um, th left in life, really. Um, but it's fine. We'll get there. Eventually. <laughs> The collection that I'm really focused on completing this generation is the frogs, to be fair. I want I want all 25 frogs, and then I think we're going to have a frog display room. <laughs> I just feel like it's time. Um, flush and then use. Did someone not flush the toilet? Disgusting. Why? <laughs> I don't actually know how many frogs we have. Let's check real quick. Because I don't think I still have every single one that I've, I've collected, and I would like to have, like, in be in possession of one of each. Um, I've got 15 out of 25 so far, I guess. But I only have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different types on me. Panda, welcome on in. How's your afternoon so far? No, I'd like I would like to get all of them though. I just I just feel like Melody is a frog girl. She seems like a frogger to me. Oh my god, can you also dry the laundry when you come in here? And maybe don't start a fire. <laughs> Within the first five minutes of stream, by the way, Bianca started a fire <laughs> with this dryer today, so it's been one of those streams. <laughs> <laughs> getting some housekeeping done we love to see it i should probably do that in my room at some point soon um lord knows that i need to do some cleaning <laughs> but i'm doing good i've had a nice morning so far it's been very relaxing craft a sculpture why do we have like 70 gajillion of all of these sculptures and bianca's still not lack max uh, a handiness skill, somehow. <laughs> Ask Blake about his prized possessions. Hey son, do you have anything that you would consider worth stealing for me? <laughs> Alright, you can continue reading the gardening book now. Ah, yeah, sometimes that'll do it. Sometimes that's the push you need. <laughs> I know I certainly won't clean my room most of the time unless someone's coming over. I just throw clothes on the floor. I don't care. <laughs> There's so many clothes on the floor again already. I did really good for a while keeping them off my floor, and now they're they're all over the place now. <laughs> Alright, Vikram, do you work today? You do not. He's got a weird schedule as a pro gamer. But you know what? We're going to preemptively take care of some of your needs. Come take a shower. Clothes belong on the floor. It's very true. I have never heard a, a truer sentence, frankly. <laughs> Why are you sad? Oh, I forgot his sister died yesterday. Oh my god. And we don't even get her grave because I don't think she lived in the world. Um. Oh, that's sad. I, I did forget about that. His other sister, though, is, is going to be around for a while still. She's only an adult. She's not even an elder. But that's wild. I forgot about that. John is probably going to pass away soon. I'm a little worried about that. I don't think she's this... No. No, she was the evil one, not the kleptomaniac one. <laughs> we didn't actually hang out with them a whole lot. I do feel a little bit bad on that aspect. They're like the, the one members of the family that I was just like, mm, whatever. <laughs> like, we've even paid more attention to Martina, who is not liked by pretty much anyone. Okay, you can answer Jasper's call once you level up in gardening. Thank you. Uh... 
don't give yourself a pep talk. Um, Vikram, what other skills do you have? That's right, we were maybe going to try to get a bar for him, but it didn't work out. Mischief, you can you control the Teff forums for a little while. It has been a while since you stole, um, so maybe we'll we'll go steal some stuff later on, do a grave roundup. Did Blake leave? No, he's just hanging out with the cow plant. Please don't tell me Blake just got eaten by the cow plant. I hope not. I don't want to have to worry about other sims. <laughs> I only want to have to worry about the sims in my house being eaten by it. <laughs> oh, she put the book away. No, the book is supposed to stay in your inventory, actually. What was that? <laughs> okay, you can get some food, Mel Bianca. Vikram, <sighs> um, you can go get a nap, honestly. There's not really a better time for you to do so. You should go home, Blake. I'm sorry. I kind of don't want you around anymore. <laughs> at least not right now. Oh, look at that. He's already going. Perfect. Goodbye, Blake. I was thinking we probably should um, build him a house house soon. Not only because I want to be able to get his grave after he passes away, but because um, he's got a lot of pets to be living in an apartment in the city. <laughs> um, <coughs> I feel a little bad that none of his pets have like a backyard to run around in. <laughs> none of his six pets. So we'll probably move him somewhere um, where I can build him a nice house sometime soon. Why is Melody sad? From losing someone close. She didn't even know any of the aunts, I think. Moving everything he can from the living area to the spare room. He's decided that it's time to move. <laughs> Not flats or anything, just rooms. But he's we're moving. <laughs> That's so funny. Cats are the silliest things in the world. Uh-huh. Making tidying so much harder. That sounds like a cat, though. <laughs> that is pretty cat-like, to be fair. You know, it's 5 p.m. on a Sunday. Once Melody finishes her homework here, girls night? Girls night out, I think? You need a bath, don't you? Yeah, I could tell. I could tell. Okay, we'll give Fabo a bath, and then it's girls' night out. Oh, but she has she's not even close to finished with her homework. I thought she was. Enjoys beating up your Google speaker. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cat video! <laughs> Charles will pick up his toy every once in a while like that, and he'll carry it around. Um, 
And I usually try to play with him when he does, because I feel bad for him because I don't often play with him. Um, but I've also tried to get him a couple of toys where he can play with himself, and he just hasn't been very interested. Give Babo a bath. He's down four since then, oh my goodness. <laughs> He's got toys on the brain. Here, you should keep reading this for a moment. I love Filbert. Filbert's one of my favorite cats. <laughs> I I only say one of my favorite because obviously the position of favorite has been occupied. Um, <laughs> otherwise, he would probably be my favorite cat. I know, they, they do a very silly walk when they've got something in their mouths. It's funny, I was telling my coworker yesterday, when I was younger, one of my cats um, caught a mouse, and he brought it with him when he came back inside and everything. And we were like, oh, like, gross, put that down, you know, we want to throw that out. We want to get rid of the, you know, the mouse. And then he dropped it, and the mouse got up and fucking ran away. He had not killed it. <laughs> He was just carrying, like, a live mouse in his mouth. <laughs> it was one of the funniest things I think that's ever happened with one of my cats. But it was just so, like, dude, why? <laughs> Not that I'm advocating that you kill the mouse, but, like, wasn't that uncomfortable for you? <laughs> like, it was one of the strangest things that's ever happened to me. Um, it feels like we have a toddler. That's what I feel like with Charles sometimes, honestly, too him whining at like five in the morning because i like to play with it first yeah <sighs> listen lillian i'm so sorry you don't live here yet you can't come in we're having a girls night night on the town real life tom and jerry yeah <laughs> We're really quick going to check to make sure um, Wait, seven in the Scots and seven in the O'Connor? Someone's dead. Someone died. I can feel it. Girls' night. Girls' night with mom collecting graves around the town. <laughs> Lillian is the new girlfriend. Um, we like her a lot. She's a kleptomaniac as well. Um... <laughs> She's a kleptomaniac and a perfectionist, I think, was the other one. They got along so quickly. I mean, I didn't even have to do, like, the, the taking pictures with them for their relationship to be, like, full. It was so quick. <laughs> I can feel it, though. I can smell the dead relative. Or maybe, you know what, I think we collected the dead relative from here already. I think maybe there was only seven here already. I have a vague memory of, of coming here and picking up a grave recently. Oh my god, Todd Wild! I thought Todd had passed away. I'm glad that he's still kicking. Um, gardening gals. <laughs> I'm behind with the story. You haven't missed that much. Um... I think this episode, I'm pretty sure Jasper will have his kid, this episode, this stream. Um, Melly's got the girlfriend. And um, I think that's it. Susumu's parents keep adopting cats. <laughs> Other than that, I don't think anything major has really happened. And the girlfriend, of course. Is this where the other Sims live? The one that has seven in the household? I don't think so. Yeah, it's this one. This is the one with seven. But I see no graves. Interesting. I shouldn't have brought Melody and... Um, Bianca to do this, but it's fine. We can bring them all. 
<laughs> they had the baby! Let's go meet the baby first. Um, and then we'll check everybody else. Although, no. Nobody's died since the last time we were here. Serenity! Oh my god! That's so cute. I love the name Serenity. It reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh, honestly. Because <laughs> that was the name of, um... <laughs> One of, uh, one of the main character's sisters. Serenity Wheeler. I love that, though. And that means we have more girls in the family, finally. <laughs> We've broken the curse. It's not just boys the whole time. I forgot about his cat landscaping. <laughs> and his pool and everything. I forgot that I actually do like his his backyard. I was thinking about it after stream, I guess before stream this morning, and being like, I don't remember liking where I left it off. But I actually like it. It is nice. It feels complete. <laughs> but let's go meet Serenity. And of course say hello to Jasper as well. And you know what? Actually, I have a picture with Blake and Jasper. I don't have one with Melody and Jasper. Or Melody and Blake, so we should try that out. Um, I also don't know if I have a picture of just Susumu, so we'll try to have that happen. Take photo of Susumu. And then where's the baby? Did they put it in the correct space? They put it over here. No, well, that's the wrong space. But I can't move it, so that's, you know, it's not my prerogative. <laughs> they didn't put the baby in the baby room, but that's fine. That's not, it's not my fault. <laughs> I hate this. Come here, then talk to Susumu, and then you'll you'll figure out how to take a photo with him. Hey, photo with Melody and Jasper. That's a very bad photo. Oh, that one's kind of cute. If we could move it out a little bit. Stinky faces. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's get one like this, too. Because I feel like... Many photos in this this length. I guess mostly because they don't fit onto this length. I don't know why, but I love this one. <laughs> Jasper looks so sad. These, why are their photos all like prank photos? None of them can be serious. <laughs> be so for real, Melody. <laughs> all right, you know what? Jasper can have one of these as well. We can put one of these up in his room. Oh, can I not? Can I not edit things in someone else's house? <laughs> can I not put things down? Oh, there we go. Oh? Just kidding, I guess? That's so silly. <sighs> Alright, well... Take a photo of Susumu. 
And Melody, come meet the baby. All right, we'll zoom out a little bit. Because so we had some good photos of um, Yuma as well, which is Blake's husband. It'd be nice to just have a couple of photos of, of the husbands of the family. He really does have some pretty strange poses. <laughs> we'll take one of him looking pissed, that's good. And you know what? Just because we need some photos that are like this and he fits the bill right now. Sad Susanoo. Why not? <laughs> there we go. And now we're besties. Um, so Bianca, I want you to come meet the baby as well. Okay, Melody, you've had your turn. It is now Bianca's turn to meet the baby, <laughs> to meet Serenity. All right, and Melody, while you're here at a family's house, come get a quick meal. Come get some chips. Hey, Monique, how you doing this afternoon? Welcome on in. We're meeting Jasper's new baby, Serenity, right now. Serenity gay. I'm doing pretty all right. How about you? I've had a lovely afternoon. Just kind of uh, not doing much this morning. <laughs> it's been very nice. Oh, you know, I don't think I have heard Susumu talk yet. He's a bit of a silly voice. Okay, you can put the baby down. And then, um, I think it's time that we go. Pass the final exam! Heck yeah! Congrats! Finals are always scary. I The only time I've ever failed a test was a final, actually. Um, and to this day, I think about it. <laughs> Making sure nobody's dead in any of these places. Okay. Nobody's nobody's dead yet. We gotta keep an eye out though, you know? I know. <laughs> I want people to die. I want to fill my graveyard. <laughs> Actually, my graveyard is pretty full. I, at this point, I should really stop wishing for people to die. Um, but I do. I do encourage it. <laughs> and you know, I think honestly, because um, we don't really have to worry about anyone being dead right now. I think it's time that we have a meeting of all of the the girl heirs. Let's have Kelly, Bianca, and Melody all hang out. Hmm. 
<laughs> I mean, Kelly is, of course, a ghost. But it is nice to still get to know her, you know? Family kiss. Compliment her outfit. Brighten the day. Melody can introduce herself. One of these days, maybe I'll build Kelly a nice house, too. I mean, she does kind of have a nice house. I will admit, this ha this is a pretty nice base game house. <laughs> Actually, this is cast of dogs. Charisma level 6. Alright, Bianca, you can come knock on the door so we can go inside when we need to. Um, because I think we'll take a photo with all three of us, probably, if possible. Oh my god, Kelly doesn't even have a computer? I mean, she has a very nice house, but it's very basic. There's, like, nothing in it, you know? <laughs> And I am a little thrown off by this area of roof right here. <laughs> it it makes me wonder. Also, this balcony that doesn't have like a door to it or anything. You could have a door right here. It would be a nice little balcony. Oh, I hate it. Missed opportunities. Melody. Come watch TV together with everybody. Oh, just kidding. Something about that last ghost sighting unnerved her. She's afraid of ghosts now. No, Bianca. <laughs> Bianca, this is your grandma. Right? Because Bianca, then Connor, then Callie. Yeah, this is your grandma. <laughs> what do you mean you're afraid of ghosts? <laughs> Stop that. Ugh. Now we gotta drink a fear be gone. Gotta go buy one real quick. No, you are not afraid of ghosts. Especially not the ghost of your grandma. <laughs> Okay, um... Goma. That's so scary. Or that's so silly. Scared by the ghost of their family member that they came here to visit? Like... Come take a photo with Kelly. I wish you could... Um... Have it be with more than one person. Like, I want all three of them in a photo together. But... It's fine. As long as we've got these two, I think we'll be all set. Just a couple photos. Three maybe is good. Melody only takes funny photos for whatever reason. There's like no sweet ones in here. <laughs> there we go. How's our friendship with her? That's pretty good. Um, and speaking of friendship, how is our um, spotted heart frog and Striped Leaf Frog. Those are the two. Heck yeah! We got the Surfer Leaf Frog. Perfect. 25 frogs, here we come, you know? 
Okay, Bianca, how's your relationship with Kelly? Not great. Let's go take a photo with Kelly as well. All the photos with family today. I forgot how pretty Bianca is, frankly. I feel like we don't get a whole lot of, like, close-up uh, photos of Bianca. But she is really pretty. Okay, and then we I would like to hang out with Kelly for a little bit as well. We can't small talk, huh? It's 10.45, but you know what? Neither of these two actually sleep through the night anymore. So... Actually, all three of them don't need sleep. <laughs> They've all got the never weary trait. Um, so that's kind of funny. All right, we'll get going, though. We've hung out with Kelly for long enough. We'll go back home now. We'll start hanging out with Vikram again. It's not gals night every single time. You know, there are men in this family. <laughs> We have a lot of photos, but I don't really know if I have all that much wall space left to put any more photos on at this point. <laughs> I think most of the photos we're taking are probably for the next house at this point. <laughs> and just to have photos, of course. Neighborhood stories failing me again. Okay. Bianca. Go piss, girl. Vikram, you are chatting on the internet? Mm -hmm. No, I think you should play some video games. And Melody, how are these plants looking? You can fertilize this rose bush for sure. And maybe these snapdragons as well. Actually, I guess not. But we can research them. That's good. Because I want her to get her gardening skill up. And it feels like she does not, ever. Ah, uh, not the bees being in trouble again. Alright, Bianca. You can do some laundry. Maybe that'll calm you down after seeing a ghost, you know? Just the mundane. <laughs> Ain't no ghosts in our laundry. Hopefully. I mean, I would, I would like to believe. Although I guess Bianca would have reason to be traumatized of doing laundry as well, considering she did set herself on fire doing it this morning. Ah, oh, is our washer broken again? I can't wash things. 
I hate it when it does this. Dryer's fine. We'll keep that. Sell the washer. Buy another washer in the same color. Washer, not washer. Problem solved. <laughs> All right, Bianca, you can come get some food now. Video gaming level eight, heck yeah. All right, and then you can talk. Or you can go, um, no, don't set the light intensity on the fish tank. Go pee. And then get leftovers. The weirdest thing about this family is nobody ever sleeps. Like, Vikram doesn't need to sleep very often, and both Melody and um, Bianca have the treat that make them never have to sleep now. So the beds are kind of moot points at this point. <laughs> we don't actually need any of the beds in this family. Alright, Bianca, would you like to hang out with Fabo? Request a song. Relax and unwind. Do all the good Fabo stuff. Become companions. And then what, tomorrow is Melody's birthday? Or the day after? Tuesday is. And we're at Monday at 1am, okay. So yeah, tomorrow is her birthday. Go put some laundry away. Continue making your... Actually... Why can you only scrap the woodwork? What is this? Did someone else start that? That's weird. Oh. Just hugging out of nowhere? We love to see it. You guys can chit-chat for a little bit. That's fine. New play. A trip. <laughs> Little family hang time. Oh, so what gives Kalu Dorna Emka? Difficult between Melody and Vikram, no. Abazir, Athwash, Shuli, Xanahoy, oh, Shefflet, Turinga. What are you gonna do? Work out? No, Melody. You wanna do something upstairs? You can come, um, practice guitar. Bianca. I guess it's time that you come, um... You know, I thought I had you doing one of these, but you can come make a mobile app. Gardening 2 goes to Melody. And Vikram is already on his way in here to do video games. Perfect. Actually, can you stream? 
Earn us a little money. Livestream the refuge. <laughs> he made a whole two dollars last time, but somehow also gained a thousand followers. <laughs> if only live streaming were that easy. I don't think I'm gonna be gaining a thousand two hundred followers today. I might make two dollars. That's a possibility. Um, but the other one feels a little outside of my reach. <laughs> <laughs> a whole one dollar. Ah, uh, a whole two dollar. Three, even. Okay, Vikram. Make that money. <laughs> Someone's got to come feed the cow plant. Um, how close are you to leveling up your guitar? Not even a little. Come feed the cow plant. And then you can weed this. Why is she so sad? She didn't even know the aunt that died. Like, I'm pretty sure they never met. Is Serenity already an infant? Oh my god. That feels crazy fast. That feels like John is gonna die soon, then. If Serenity's are already changed life stages... John can't have long left. There's mushrooms in our fire pit. You want to talk to a plant, we can do that. Actually, talk to this one, because it's spliced. And I want it to give us a death flower already. And then you can come, I guess... What's your violin skill at? Six as well, okay. We're slowly leveling up all of her... All of her, um... Aspirational things. <laughs> it's 5 a.m. and she goes to school soon, though. She actually is going to go to school one more time. Which I didn't think she was actually going to do. I thought she was all done with school, frankly. But she has one last day. That's fine. Dang, Vikram's raking in that cash. He's made almost 20 bucks. He's also almost fully leveled up uh, from level 8 video games already, which is kind of fast. Bianca's almost level 10 handiness, which is cool. 
Did level 9 grant her the ability to craft anything new? It did. Bath bathtubs. Forgot about that. Just bathtubs, though. You know what? Yeah, come create, craft yourself a bathtub. I think now is the time. Things are looking so nice now that it's spring again. Even my spoiled mushrooms. My stinky spoiled mushrooms. Why are you sad now? All oh, right, because your sister just died. That's still the, th the case for you. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Um, school starts for Melody in an hour. Which means Vikram doesn't work for another 10 hours. Oh my god. Well, you can stop doing that now. You can stop live streaming. He gained another 1,200 followers, which somehow makes him have 4,000 total. I don't, I don't think that's how that math works out, but I, it's fine. <laughs> I don't think a thousand plus a thousand equals four thousand, but whatever. <laughs> he wants to make a friend and critique something. Hmm. What am I going to have him do instead? I think just eat for right now. Maybe we'll go steal something in a little bit. Uh, Melody, you can stop or you can go to school. Tarell Fisher is now a latte artist. Paris Lemus is now a musician, and that's all that's happened today. The neighborhood stories have been very boring lately. I want deaths. I want pet adoptions. I want more Sims in the world. <laughs> You know what? You can come critique this since you want to critique something. I think it's a pretty good painting, frankly. And both of you are done doing what you gotta be doing right now, I guess? Maybe it's time for another time out on the town. At the very least, I'm going to take Vikram somewhere and steal something. I feel like it's been a bit since we stole. It's also been a bit since we left the house, which is Vikram, but... He wants to be in a well-decorated area. Well, buddy, I have good news for you. You live in a well-decorated house. <laughs> At least if you ask me. <laughs> Alright. Last time we didn't check the O'Connors to see if they had actually had any um, dead relatives in their house. So let's go check them. And also probably steal a TV or something. You know? Just a little something for me. <laughs> I 
I wish they wouldn't layer up the music like that. That's kind of annoying, admittedly. Wow, this family is like all girls. Except Ken. <laughs> She's Barbie. And he's just Ken. <laughs> is there even anything worth stealing in this house? Oh my god. I don't think there really is. Do they, they have a tiny little TV. The tiniest little TV. Yeah, there's not really much to steal in this house. It looks like it's just the TV, and frankly, at this, I think I'll leave it for them. They, they, they might deserve it. Um, considering, also, yeah, the seven of them live in this two-bedroom household, <laughs> so we won't steal from them. We'll go somewhere else. <laughs> Let's go to San Sequoia. I don't know if anybody even lives here anymore, though. It feels like everybody moved out. We'll go check out the Robles, but I don't think they had anything. Um, any other family members. I don't know. Because I think they came with... Um, some grandparents and those grandparents died, but I don't think anybody else has lived there since. It's hard to keep track of everybody who's on the map because I'm trying to remember like, okay, there's four people in this household and three people in this household, but I don't recognize everybody. I don't know who half the Sims are. <laughs> when it's a Sim I see all the time, I'm like, great, I know how many, how how many people are in your household because I know your family. The pancakes, I know. The goths, I know. The Robleses? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Doesn't look like they ever finished building their treehouse, which is kind of silly of them. But it also doesn't look like they have any dead relatives, so... All in all, this might be a waste. <laughs> I love their house, though. It is a really nice house. With, like I said, zero dead relatives, um, which is kind of unfortunate. I can steal the piano? I might just have to try to steal the piano. That's like their family heirloom. That's the thing worth stealing, you know? Oh, this guy's got a pretty cool room, actually. I kind of like this cow plant poster. I think it's supposed to be Little Shop of Horrors. Come here. Come steal this, this cow plant poster, maybe. Oh, I see. I was like, why is there two staircases? Because there, there's two separate... Um, places for them. Here, come here, Vikram, and then, um, can you call him over from here? I don't think you can. Cheerful introduction. Hey, what's up, buddy? Would you like to leave your room for a minute? <laughs> no reason. Don't worry about it. Hello, Aurelio. Um, can you go away? <laughs> I love breaking into people's rooms and telling them to go away. <laughs> it's so funny. Sat on a bed in the vest, I know. Quick, steal his poster. Perfect. We're out. We're gonzo. <laughs> the perfect crime. <laughs> Vikram's kind of a creepy dude, I will admit. 
creeping outside of people's houses at like 3 a.m. and you know stealing that stuff and <laughs> he's not he's not the the most friendly person in the world <laughs> But now we have a cool cow plant poster. That's nice. Another one for the basement. <laughs> I think I hear Charles trying to break into the room. Good morning, Night Hunter. How you doing this morning? Welcome on in. I'm gonna let my cat in. Or, I'm going crazy and there's no cat. Um, <laughs> likely, likely as hell as well, I guess. Um, <laughs> whoops. Bills have just been delivered, huh? Well, that's perfect timing. They're like half the amount that the bills were last time. Okay, noted. Crazy cat boy. You know, I deserve this cat boy later. <laughs> At least there is now a cat in the room after I tried to let a cat into the room. <laughs> Had a long night out? Well, that sounds fun. I haven't had, like, a night out in a long, long time. Um, not really a huge night out guy. But I know that a lot of people have fun with it. There's not usually a reason to stay out that late, unless you enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so Melody went to school. That's fine. Bianca broke the computers upstairs. We love to see it. You want to... Actually, you know what? It's been a while since y'all woohooed. Would you like to woohoo? No kids in the house for the first time in a long time. Now might be the time. Oh, you know what? He is sad about his sister dying. Um, now might not be the time. <laughs> This time, I actually do hear a cat scratching at my door, but I swear if I open it again, he's not here. Hello, Charles. <laughs> Ding dong ditching me. Whoa. Come here, you. Hello. You are so special. Did you know? <laughs> he doesn't even know. <sighs> for an hour later. Ah, the treat. I didn't even notice. A treat for Charles. Hold on a minute. Let me let me do the the full screen, of course. Hello, Charles. I know. I know. Oh my goodness, he's so excited. <laughs> He loves these treats. He's so excited for them lately. Airplane ears, I know. Well, he's unhappy because I'm not hanging out with him right now, essentially. I heard him meowing in the background, which generally means he wants attention. Well, look what you did now. You knocked a treat out of my hand. I don't even know where it went down there. Fine, you can have one more because you knocked it out of my hand. But I gotta, I gotta run out and grab more of these. I'm running out soon. Gross little kitty man. I love you. <laughs> Sometimes he loves it when I, when I hug him and kiss him like that. Every once in a while he like sits there and he purrs and he loves it. And then every once in a while he's like, no, get me out of here. <laughs> I don't understand. He's a silly cat. I got him his new food dish because I accidentally shattered the old one. Because it was like 6 a.m. and I was trying to feed him and I was not awake yet. <laughs> but he seems to enjoy the new one. What's up, Charles? What's the plan from here? Would you like to leave? Or are you going to chill? He seems like he's being a chiller today. I'm not. I actually don't spend a whole lot of time on Facebook these days. I I think I've opened it twice in the last week. 
<laughs> it's mostly it's mostly Twitter and um, Instagram and Tumblr. Are they actually going to go woohoo? I figured that they wouldn't be able to in their bed. Feet is just literally those cats. I love it. Anytime your feet is just cats, it's a good time. They're going to woohoo in Jasper's bed, the designated woohoo bed in the house at this point. <laughs> uh, at least Jasper's not sleeping in it anymore. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's just still so... Uh... Why? <laughs> yeah, I spend a lot of time on TikTok these days. It's bad. I spent most of the morning on TikTok. <laughs> I probably watched like four whole Steven Universe episodes. I, you know, sat through many people talking about their work experiences and stuff. I watched some of the Owl House. Which I think I will actually have to start because it seems like a cool show. It's one of those that I've known that I'm very much going to enjoy, so I haven't wanted to start it. Because I, I do that to myself. Shows that I know that I like, I won't start until I know I have time to be obsessed with them. <laughs> You're gonna go get food. That's fine, and you should go pee. It's hard to not be on TikTok as much nowadays for me because I'm also trying to post on TikTok. Um, and a lot of what I've posted so far has been, that's done well at the very least, has been um, sounds that I found from scrolling through TikTok and then saved so that I can later make a TikTok for them. <laughs> um, so, so part of posting on TikTok requires me to scroll through TikTok for a little bit and try to find sounds and stuff. Uh, which is stupid. Being a content creator is bad. <laughs> I enjoy it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. A lot of the work you have to do is bad, stupid work. <laughs> That's true in any field, you know? It's not just me. Why are, why are you constantly working out when you know you don't like it, Vikram? This time, I'm not even going to stop you. You can just do it. You can be unhappy that you worked out because you chose this for yourself. <laughs> Honestly, that's how I feel in the gym half the time, though. <laughs> I will admit. <laughs> I get done with it, and I'm like, who put me in this situation in, my, in which my body is so tired now? Who did this to me? <laughs> it's me. It was me the whole time. When I get home from a run and I'm like, why am I not dead right now? <laughs> Would you like to come hang out, Charles? There's room on my lap now. He's going to be a weirdo stalker kitty and sit down there and stare at me. Both are acceptable. She's playing video games now. Doing some video games. Now she's talking to herself. Girl, <laughs> get it together. You know, though, I think we should... Um... Well, first of all, before I get too involved in this, I guess I should probably sort out some of these 33 photos that I have. Because <laughs> I was about to say we should go take some more photos um, of us and John. Because John is probably not long for this world, and it would be nice to have some more photos of him <laughs> somewhere in the, in the house. But I would argue now that we have too many photos um, of too many things, probably. And that we maybe need to sort out some of what is um, 
good to keep in the inventory and can go into the um the household inventory. Okay. Sell that one. I believe Charles wants to leave. He's using his dinosaur tail to whack at the boxes. That generally means something. He's dangerous with the tail. Sometimes. He is, um, fierce. <laughs> he'll, he'll whack that thing around like it's a baseball bat, frankly. Okay. We have... Write pictures of uh, Vikram, not Vikram, Susamu and Jasper pick, kissing at their wedding. That should go somewhere, actually, because that's cute. That was a chance that I happened to get that photo. Um, you know what? It can go up in Jasper's room. Or Jasper's old room. Um... Bianca and Cadence, we have a couple of these, I think. But they're all separate looking photos. So maybe we'll bring these upstairs real quick. And put them in Bianca's room somewhere. Which is funny, because they actually aren't that close in real life, um, in the actuality of, like, the relationships of the game. We just have, like, 17 photos of her and Candace together. <laughs> Cadence. Um, we can absolutely put this in here, because that is the reason that I took the photo. And it would make sense, because that's his husband. Um... Still have so many photos to sort through, though. I'm going to keep one of these um, with Vikram, I think. Because Vikram is going to carry the photos that are going to be used for people's graves, I think. Which is grim, but... Um, I mean, someone's got to, you know? <laughs> We don't have a picture of um, Blake and Yuma, I don't think. We have one of John and Bianca, though, which is good. Um, Melody's not home, but I don't think she has many pictures of anybody but her in her inventory. Um, some of those can go into the household inventory at this point. That one can get sold. Raul, Kelly, and Connor. I feel like I should put this somewhere. That's like old school, you know? That's, that's very, um, beginning of this family. We can put it by the oven there, I guess. I'm going to put the frame in a different color, though. There we go. Um, I guess we actually have a lot of photos of Bianca and, and John together. Maybe we don't need any more. Uh, but if I remember correctly, we have Blake, Yuma, and John's death photos here. Um, again, kind of grim, but we'll have him hold on to the photo that we'll use at his own grave. Um, Cadence's grave, if we ever get it. And then 
then I think Bianca can hold on to pictures of her and other people. That makes sense to me. And then everything else will go into the household inventory. We'll put one of her and Martina upstairs in their bedroom. And honestly, we can put probably one of these away as well. And then the rest can all go... Actually, no. That's Bianca and Kelly as well. I believe now the rest can all go... Um, with the 45 that are in the household inventory. This is the bar stool that Bianca made. That is excellent quality. Can we? Can we? You can't design to that. Interesting. I kind of like it though. I don't know if I want to get rid of it. I guess we'll hang on to it. The cow plant thing does go downstairs here though. That is part of our stolen goods here. Um, and then... Oh, I guess we only have 30 photos in here. I thought we had 40 for some reason. I think we're about to have 40, but... And I believe that was all of them. Yeah. It feels good to have them sorted out, finally. Because <laughs> I feel like I've been um, putting that off for a while. <laughs> Just because we have so many freaking photos all the time in this house. Not that that's a bad thing, but... It has um, sometimes become a problem. He's feeling very playful from his bath. Um, don't you work today, Vikram? In four hours. Okay. You can come cook when you're done, because that'll take out a little bit. Cook some mac and cheese. Taking him a while to clean out those dishes. That's funny. You're just like standing in front of the dishwasher, like, what do I do? <laughs> you wash the dishes. Obviously. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Melody's home. From what I believe is her final time going to school. Oh, before you um, wash yourself, come feed the cow plant. Come harvest the plants. And 
and then you can harvest these plants as well. Good old Cornelius. Oh, you know? How are the bees? Oh, bees are good. You can collect the honey. Vikram's busy dancing. Look at him go. You know what? Yeah, you can come enthuse about the thrill of the steel if you really want to. And then you can come get some food. Now, did we get a death flower? Not yet. But now the real question. Um, we have the surfer leaf frog. We should breed it with a spotted dirt frog. And we got the dirt surfer frog. Love to see it. <laughs> She's busy talking to herself again. Come take a shower, girl. And then you can come get some food. I feel like I want Bianca to take something up new sometime soon, because I feel like she, she's got a lot of skills, but like, none of which I feel like take that much time anymore. Um, I don't know what she could take up though. Maybe I could get nifty knitting and she could take up knitting. I have been thinking about getting a new, like, stuff pack. Not a game pack, but a stuff pack. But I've, I've spent a lot of money on kits lately, so I'm uh, trying not to spend too much money on, on The Sims. <laughs> Vikram is off to work a little late. That's fine. And you are all done with the things that you've got going on here. You can mop up, do laundry, and um, maintain the house a little bit. <laughs> Alright, Vikram's off to work. Does Bianca work soon? No. Not even for the next little bit. And it feels like Fabo has not been paid attention to, so let's hang out with Fabo. Give special smooches? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fabo deserves a lot of special smooches. And tomorrow is both GeekCon and um, Melody's birthday. Can she... 
I guess she still has the gardening books, huh? Yeah, you should read some more gardening skills. I want you to complete your aspirations soon. That actually uh, doesn't get your gardening up anymore. I guess it's time to read the, the third one instead of the second one. Oh, just kidding, I guess? <laughs> No, I told you to read the third one. Start reading the third one. Give special smooches. I want to see the interaction. <laughs> well, this is feel the love real quick. Where Bianca breaks a wrist. <laughs> Special smooches. Mm. Fabo deserves that. Fabo's the best dog. You know what, Bianca? Come enter a professional game tournament. Why not? What was she about to go do? Hang out with a plant? With a cow plant? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that it is still close enough that they can um, choose to do so. The cow plant does make me worry. It's a source of um, entertainment, but it also is a source of great anxiety for this family. <laughs> I don't want Melody to die before she even has a kid. Um, so I've, I've been having her feed the cow plant the second I notice it, it needs feeding. It is top priority around here. Who is she going to go talk to? Herself? No, she's going to go do push-ups. No, Melody, you should, um, if you're feeling energized, you should come strum, pluck some inspiration. Get your guitar skill up. And, um, Bianca. Yeah, why not? Upgrade the mattress. I believe everything else is fully upgraded, so. Not the sink, I guess. You can come upgrade the sink as well. And after that, you'll need food, so you can, you can, you don't have to fill up the whole queue, you know? <laughs> Uh, 
Would you like to play a ballad? You can like guitar. You've been playing it your whole life. I'm, I'm pretty sure you like it at this point. I don't think I've ever stuck around for for um, playing one of the songs. It's cute. It's a nice song. Maybe I checked neighborhood stories too quickly. I feel like I should let them be for a little bit, you know? <laughs> Not check them every five seconds, maybe. I just want someone to die. I just want it to tell me that someone got too angry and exploded. <laughs> I like how lush everything looks again now that it's spring. Everything looks all nice and fancy. Bianca came in second! Oh, that's pretty cool. I wish you got something other than money for winning, though, because um, we don't really need the money. Good job, Melody. That was some great guitar plan. Guitar plan. Oh, and we can breathe the frogs again. Okay. Um, the dirt surfer frog. Rich people problems, I know. I've got too much money. <laughs> um, so the surfer, the dirt surfer frog with the spotted, spotted heart frog. What did that make? Another dirt surfer. Okay. Lame. Um, you. I don't actually know what I want you to do right now, Melody. All of your needs are pretty well taken care of. I guess you can go pee real quick. And then play some violin. I guess. Melody has bred a new frog, and it was not the right frog! <laughs> we did get... Um, we are getting a little closer, though. I really did try with this house, too, to run myself out of money. Um, and I actually wound up spending less on this house than I did on the, the previous house, which is funny. Because I was, like, very much trying to spend more. <laughs> mm. But I think this house is only $190. Um, 
well, 190000 not $190. We stole some Sadnum. It's kind of funny, because we are pretty sad, actually. My sister died recently. Um, let's put that back next to the donkey, I guess. It looks like donkey poop now. Fantastic. <laughs> Vikram, you should come play video games. And then you can go to the bathroom. People leaving plates all over this house, and I didn't notice all day. I'm the only one in this house that even cares about cleaning it. <laughs> you can do that, and then when you're done, you can come sleep in your newly upgraded bed. Oh my god, so fancy. Bianca, you can actually pee before you, um, go get food, I guess. And Melody's needs have not changed at all, somehow. have any pictures of Blake and um, Yuma, but we should get some of Blake and Yuma and then one of um, Bianca and Vikram to hang over this so that we can keep the, the symmetry going over here. We have one of, of these two that we can put up, but I should definitely go get one of um, Yuma and Blake. You know what, I never sorted out which ones Melody has in her inventory. Um... We have a lot of pictures of Fabo, turns out. <laughs> Once he finishes playing video games, we'll exit out for him so that he doesn't pee himself while playing video games. <laughs> I guess maybe once he levels up, whichever one happens first. Fabo. <laughs> oh, they both happened at like the same time. Cool. He's now an elite gamer. Few can match his gaming prowess. <laughs> He's a pro gamer professionally, um, so I guess that's kind of true, huh? Bianca, you can, um, you know what, come make another bar stool. Because the last one you made was really nice. Vikram, you're already going to bed, never mind. Mm 
You're doing great, Melody. But the cow plant's hungry, so you should come feed that. And then anything else got, like, weeds or anything? I think we're all good and on the gardening front. Oh, well, you can water all. And apply mite treatment to the bees again, somehow. So, these bees always have mites. Don't get eaten by the cow plant. <laughs> so far, we've still yet to have any cow plant mishaps, um, but I am waiting for it to happen someday. I just know it will. <laughs> uh oh, she's gonna get stung by the bees. I'm so sorry, Melody, that you get stung so often. She didn't even interact with the bees first to get stung. She just got stung. Just by being near them. <sighs> we can bond with the bees a little bit still. Yeah, you got stung, but that's fine. Bianca, you can continue doing laundry here. Oh, oops. And Melody, you can come get some food now. No dryer fires, fantastic. Come make another bar stool. And then when Vikram wakes up, we're gonna make a cake and age up Melody, probably. Maybe we'll invite Lillian over and invite her as well. Or age her up as well. Actually, is she a young adult yet? No, she's still a teen. Oh my goodness. The yuanning. The yuanning. All right, you can come get some breakfast now, Vikram. You're r well rested enough. Melody, for now, you can um, you can keep reading your book that you put away. Lovely. And then Vikram, when you're done eating, you can cook a birthday cake. A birthday cake. You just gonna bring me a birthday present to my birthday party on my birthday with a birthday present on my birthday? Uh, silly gummy bear pancakes. That sounds disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm usually all for trying out different things, but uh, I've got to say that gummy bear pancakes really don't sound all that appealing to me.
I think we're going to go with a nice pink cake. A nice strawberry. Uh, yes, hang out with Fabo and read the book. Bianca, you can come put away laundry. Because somehow making a bar stool was the exact amount of time that it took to do laundry. And then you can take a shower. Play some video games or something. Make your app, I think, is what you were doing last. I forgot I had the cat ears on. That is a frequent um, occurrence these days. <laughs> You can come harvest all these. You're actually not going to school today, actually. So, if Vikram can hurry up and finish this cake, we will age you up so you don't have to go to school today. It's almost Vikram's birthday. What, tomorrow? I think? No, Thursday. Vikram's gonna be an elder. I don't want that. I don't want to end Gen 3. <sighs> it's so sad. Okay, Vikram. Add birthday candles. Melody. Come blow out birthday candles. Vikram's gonna go pick up the trash can, even though neither of them are knocked over. That's great. That's cool. That is whatever. <laughs> and then we should invite Lillian over and age her up as well. All right, the moment of truth, Melody. What's your final trait? Animal enthusiast, you know? The picture is even of a llama. Um, I guess now would be the time to probably get a llama, you know? Um, <laughs> I guess. And look at her. She's a full-fledged adult now. She looks a lot like Bianca, actually. They have very similar faces. Oh. Alright, don't go to high school, actually. <laughs> you are no longer a high school. Maybe don't go to high school. Lillian will be right over. Perfect. Um, in that case, you should put some birthday candles on here so no one eats it. Vikram, have you played enough video games today? You have. You don't work for two days. Well, you can come live stream then, I guess. And then, where's Lillian? There she is. Um, call over. And age up Lillian. And then I guess we join a career. 
which I believe is going to be a gardener um, for for Melody at this point. I believe that's kind of what we settled on. Because Raul really didn't get far into this career. Um, and I think he wound up being a floral designer. I think we want to be a botanist. Work assignment. Purchase garden seeds. Sure. Midlife crisis is over! Oh, thank god. Bianca. I'm glad. And now Lillian's a young adult. Um... You could probably go home now, actually, though. I don't really want you here right now, right now. Actually, do we still count as girlfriends? We do. Should I propose right now? On our collective birthday? Just so that way we can plan the wedding for some other time? Let's do it. I'm gonna propose. I'm feeling very confident she's feeling energized. It feels like a good time to do so. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's really cute, actually. <laughs> Aw. We're not going to elope, though. Um, we are going to actually have a wedding for them. Probably not today. But how did we identify a minnow? What? From Lillian. Okay. Interesting. Um, I think, though, we are going to... Oh, deeply in love. I love that. We're going to come harvest the plants. We're going to send Lillian home. Because I don't think we actually need to have her here right now. <laughs> We're going to go harvest our harvestables. Take care of all the plants that we need to take care of, you know? See if we got any death flowers. GeekCon is in town. I don't really think any of us need to go to GeekCon. Proof skill gain to the stars, gaming, hackathon. Mm. You know what? We'll go in a little bit um, with Vikram and Bianca. Once Melody is done doing all this, we'll go with both of them and enter at least the hackathon and the, the gaming thing, because that's the two things that they're good at, so we may as well. But we'll wait until Melody is done doing all her things for the day. Oh, and we can breed frogs. Perfect. Who am I breeding, though? The surfer leaf frog with the striped heart. It gave me the heart surfer frog. Perfect. Great. We're slowly making our way through these frogs. Once you're done weeding, we're off to Garden Fest, probably. Oh. 
what did we get here? Bluebell, Daisy, Parsley, and Sage. We can sell all those. All right, Melody's finished with all her stuff. Let's go to Vikram here. And let's go to GeekCon. With Bianca. We'll leave Melody at home for now. Oh, I'm getting tired. I gotta have lunch or something. I think I gotta move on with my day pretty soon. Although I think there probably would be a second stream today. I don't think I'm doing much else today, honestly. <laughs> it feels like a um, lays around the house, do nothing sort of day, really. Maybe I'll take a nice nap today. That feels that feels like the the move. GeekCon, please. Items have not been removed. Don't lie to me like that. All right. Who is this? Oh, Angel Parikh. Strange. Um. So for right away, we'll we'll come to the food stand over here with Vikram, and we'll see if we can get some more recipes. We'll get a, a hot dog and a hamburger. Why not? Bianca. Bianca, you can come um, enter the game tournament. Oh, is that not? Just kidding. I guess not. Oh, there's our sister. Econ challenges have begun. Okay, so in that case, Bianca, uh, participate in hackathon. And Vikram, if you could, ultimate gaming test. Sorry, Blake, I'm not going to help you fiddle with a rocket ship. Bianca, participate in the hackathon. Vikram, participate in the ultimate gaming test. <laughs> okay, there we go. We've got people doing what they've got to be doing. And we'll have them switch after this, because I think they're both good at both, so... On music. Vikram has completed the ultimate gaming test. He got a a future cube. Oh, because he actually did pretty good at gaming, which makes sense. He is a, a professional gamer. <laughs> he got a seventy out of a hundred, though. That feels cheap. That feels um, not correct. He's a professional gamer, okay? He should get better than that. And once we get past the hacking part, we'll have Bianca do the gaming one as well. A score of 91%. Not bad, Bianca. 
I think we have to stay here till four for him, us to learn the winners of that one, though. So we'll we'll hang on for right now. And then when you're done, you can order a hamburger. And Vikram, when you're done, you can maybe go to the bathroom? Are there no toilets? No, there's toilets in here. It's just the talking toilets. Vikram also completed a score of 91. That's not bad at all. And Bianca also got a score of 70 and a future cube. That's kind of funny. <laughs> they are apparently on the even playing fields when it comes to both of them. Um, but in that case, I guess you guys should get to doing the other things that I told you to do here. Go pee, bro. can't get to the bathroom. Interesting. I guess use this bathroom. Bianca's getting food. Perfect. I think we just stole that guy's hamburger, actually. <laughs> That's so funny. Why would I do that? Why are there three Darth Mauls? We've got to hang out for another, like, hour and a half, really. <laughs> debate a thousand ant-sized bears versus one bear-sized ant. The endless age-old debate, of course. We've got to wait to see if we won the hackathon still. Oh, there's Martina! I love just being out and about and like running into people that we know. Vikram's gonna order a drink. From who? From where? Oh, there's a bartender over here. I see him. Gregory Moreno. <laughs> Bianca's gotta go to the bathroom. Hackathon has come to an end. First place goes to Vikram. Oh, nice. And we got the Immersive Ben computer, which is, I think, the same prize that we got last year for winning. Um... Which is also really funny, because Vikram and Bianca got the same score, but Vikram won. Sexism. That's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> now that all of our needs are taken care of, though, and we have found out who's won, I think we're good to go home. I think we had a good time at GeekCon. And nobody's died this stream, so I would consider it a win so far. For an almost... For a full two hour, two and a half hour stream. That's good. That is good, good things. <laughs> we'll check the neighborhood stories real quick to make sure nobody's died died. But after that, I think, um... I think that will probably do it for me for right now. I think they updated some of this uh, transitional music, too, because this sounds like a new song to me. <gasps> Who's this? Is this Fuzzball? It is Fuzzball. It's always Fuzzball, and it's never um, Mangle anymore. The Fang household moved into o Oasis Springs. That's good to know. Moyer households moved into Windenburg. 
Oh my god! Um, Susumu's parents had another kid. So we have a, I guess to, to Melody, that's a cousin-in-law? Because it's your, your brother's husband's brother or sister? John and Martina are having another kid as well? <gasps> that means one of their pets passed away. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. We're taking just Vikram this time. Did one of their do did one of their cats or dogs pass away? Like I'm excited that they're having another kid though that that the family's growing, but also John's about to die. John is like on his way out the door. Oh no. <laughs> this is this is shocking. This is this is too much. I think one of their pets passed away too. Right after I was talking about how, how nobody has died this stream. It's gonna be it's gonna be one of the dogs. One of their like four dogs. <laughs> Where oh my oh my god, I see it, I see it, oh no. Oh Pixel <laughs> We're taking it. We're taking the dog. I'm taking the dog asshole. I can't believe Martina's pregnant again, though. That's cool. Alric is an elder. Napoleon is an elder. Bubbles is an elder. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Welcome back in, Panda. Uh, we're just realizing now that one of John's dogs has died, um, and Martina and him are having another baby. So, big relevations in the gay family today. Uh, <laughs> family is growing. <laughs> <laughs> but I also think that um, I'm going to drop this grave off and then I'm probably headed out for the stream, unfortunately. I know, good on them. Having another baby. I hope John lives to see the baby because um, he is probably almost dead. But we'll drop Pixel off at the graveyard real quick. Might become an orphan. Martina is still going to be alive, though. Martina is not even an elder yet. And also, um, Cadence is a young adult now, I think, so... Orphan, but also, like, still has family around, you know? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's... That's a lot. I'm, like, both happy and sad about it. Because <laughs> that also means that poor Pixel here died. And I don't even know where to put Pixel, because... He wasn't our pet, so I don't think he belongs in, like, the pet section of our graveyard. Oh, this is the perfect spot. Graves of pets that weren't ours. Which also, I believe, yeah, it includes Blue here. Although Blue was not even our family's pet, so we'll just put him, them over here. Destroy? Why would I destroy the grave? I hate that. <laughs> Um, I don't have a picture of Cashew with me. Actually, let me check real quick. I have a bunch of pictures on me. Um, but they're for people who I believe, yeah, aren't dead yet. Okay. Because Vikram, I have decided, is the holder of death portraits. Pictures that I will use to um, put in front of the graves of people who we know. <laughs> like I have done for, for some of them. I miss Raul and Connor every once in a while. They were such good sims. Oh my god, the land grab family graves. <laughs> Getting a little complicated over here. <laughs> um, okay. We're outie. We're gone, so... We don't want to spend forever at this graveyard. <laughs> Someone moved in here, though. Where did they move in? 
the guns, the fries. The Yamazakis, that's Susumu's parents. Um, so where did they move in then? It said the, the, um, someone had moved into Brindleton Bay. Interesting. I think someone also moved into Oasis Springs. I think it was the Fangs that moved into Oasis Springs. Yeah, they moved into that house across from uh, Kelly's old house. That's cool. Oh my god, one of the roomies died! Hold on. We need to go here as well, because this is our family, technically. I'm I'm on my way to ending stream, I swear, but I can't I need I can't leave without picking up my family's graves. <laughs> this is a little too happy of music for the fact that I'm going around picking up graves. <laughs> I know, Panda. I appreciate that. Is there a grave on the inside here? No. Is there one on the outside somewhere? Also, no. Interesting. Because I'm pretty sure someone died here. There was... There was eight people living in this household. Did one of them move out? Oh, no, there he is. Etta Patel. Oh, that was, um... That's Martina's sister. I believe. Um, I forgot a lot about this house, honestly. I love this house. <laughs> With the uh, differently colored bedrooms and everything, too. Wow, I forgot of how good of a job I did on this house. Like, this is a nice house. <laughs> um... At least the inside of it. Okay, I think we can leave, though. I don't know if I'm going to go drop off the grave right now. Um, just because I would like to go have lunch now, I think. I'm going to have lunch. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to um, chill for a little while. And then I will probably be back for a second stream later on today. Um... Because really, I don't have any other plans other than playing Sims today. I... <laughs> my my friend was like, you should come take a bus and, and hang out with me today. And I was like... That sounds lovely. In practice, though. <laughs> and in reality, I'm not leaving my bed today. <laughs> I'm going to go hang out like 12 feet that way and um, just be there for forever. So, let me, let me make sure I'm saving real quick. Gotta do the, the save and then exit and save. Because the one time I didn't is when it mattered. So now I have to every time. And we'll call it a stream. So, if you are still here, hang on. Lurkin, Chatton, Vibit, any or all of those things are a mix of them even. Thank you very much. I appreciate y'all. Um, like I said, I'll probably be back a little later on um, for another stream. We'll hang out and we'll we'll figure it out, you know? Um, for now, 
I hope you all have a lovely, lovely rest of the afternoon. A lovely evening, if I don't happen to catch you later on. Um, for whatever reason. I feel like lately I've, I've been skipping the Saturday evening streams a lot. Um, so, there, I mean, there's a, there's a possibility. <laughs> so you never know. Uh, till then, though. Why is my Minecraft launcher open? I didn't open Minecraft. Okay. Um, till then, thank y'all for hanging. Thank y'all for chatting. I hope you have a lovely evening. And until the next time, guys.